Okay, um, this is a 55 Samson that's been out on a USS Iowa ship out in San Pedro, California. Uh, noted for about eight and a half years. I just removed all the screws, all the, the backing of the, um, the vinyl stripping. And uh, we're going to look underneath here for us to see what it looks like. Um, the components. Um, it looks old, but you don't see any kind of corrosion whatsoever so far. Even on the uh, the pins themselves, uh, believe it or not, they're still operational. They had a, uh, a USB device plugged into it, and uh, that's how they're receiving their signal, using this as an informational guide for the ship. Um, everything, all the screws here were all covered up uh, with like a strip, strip and everything like that. So we're going to go ahead and pick up the top. Now let's go and see what the components look like. You get to pull pretty hard. Just, just pull it all out. All right, this is what eight and a half years in the ocean. This is uh, we mark each one of them. This is the UN fifty KU sixty three hundred. Um, yeah, this is some time ago. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the the serial number there. Oop, the serial number is upside down on this board. And here's the serial number. Yep. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the board itself. Now we have a little bit of corrosion that happened here, but it will still functional very well. Um, these pins down here, the gold pins, are looking pretty good. Um, some of these did get a little bit of rusted, but you're talking about a chemical that was eight and a half years ago. Um, and and the thing is, it's now it's like ten times stronger than it was before. But you got to think about what's happening here. This is the worst case scenario when you place an electronic on the ocean itself on a ship um, with no no cover, rained on all the time, every year, facing the water. That means all the salt spray constantly hitting it. The salt air is constantly going into it. Um, this is the extreme level of an outdoor TV. Uh, that's been battling uh, salt air completely without, if you notice, no fans whatsoever on this product. This product had zero fans. As we look over here, no fans anywhere on this product. Now let's go ahead and look at the power board real closely. So we, they're not shiny like over here this one is. A little bit of shininess, not too much, but the dullness happened over time through the salt air. But look at these uh, these areas. This is something that um, is actually quite incredible. Let's go over here, look at these here real closely. Now this was attacked by salt air all the time. 365 days a year, 24 hours, 7 days a week. This TV was practically on eight and a half years on the ocean that's the level of the solution that uh, we were using at the time and now we've gone back into using the solution again um, and now it's even 10 times stronger than this this is quite incredible i can't really wrap my head around just how incredible this is i mean look at that the pins themselves no corrosion base anywhere so this TV, by the way, is still working. It's still functional. Um, it's still doing what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, there's all the components there, wiring. Oh, by the way, let's take a look at this, the button. Wow, looks pretty darn new almost. Uh, the Wi-Fi signal. I mean, look at the green there. And the, and the contacts, incredible. Uh, the IR itself constantly hit with ocean air all the time for eight and a half years these here let's take a, let's take this part off, off right now i'll do this live with you actually go ahead and take that off that screw go ahead and take that screw off now we're not we obviously returning this tv anymore the tv is pretty much we replaced it with a brand new one with a better technology of the solution but to actually know what is going on here Wow, look at this, look at the level of this here. 
Now, you notice some, some coloring, the rainbow effect here. That's the solution itself embedded into the components. But look at that. That is amazing. No corrosion whatsoever. And, and you're talking about nothing blocking it from the bottom of all the, the, the salt air constantly hitting it day after day after day. This is what we've been talking about doing. And um, this is uh, the new the new Titan out there TVs will be having a better solution now that's uh, 10 times stronger than it was eight and a half years ago. But I mean, look at the level of this. There's no corrosion whatsoever on it. I mean, there's some dullness to it, but that's to be expected just of years. But as far as corrosion of the salt air hitting it all the time, day after day, I, it, it's incredible. It's unbelievable. That's the level. Now let's look at the speakers themselves. The speakers, believe it or not, were coated as well. That's incredible. The cloning, the cones themselves have not cracked. And that even happens in their normal situations uh, of the cone speakers themselves. Um, they just crack over time on their own just through heat. And look at this. There's, this has been out in the sun, again, eight and a half years playing. Where do you see any cracks on here? Let's look at the other one. Oh my gosh, look at that. See? It's not cracking. Ribbing cables. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Turn it around. Now, the ribbon cables and everything got treated as well. Uh, let's see, try to focus. Nothing going on with the, the cables. And inside, let's look inside the cables. Wow, zero corrosion inside. So, let's look at the pins. Nothing, look inside. no corrosion whatsoever the outer side of the pin I mean this one should be attacked immediately so there you go guys by the way just to let you know this TV still works the only reason why we replaced it and I'll show you why has nothing to do with the components whatsoever the TV itself had developed this film over the screen at the time. Um, this is eight and a half years on the screen uh, at that time. If you notice, the film has finally given out. So let's look at the let's look at what just happened here. Eight and a half years, TV's on a ship on the water, facing the sun every morning. The boats are going by, ships are going by, salt splash air is traveling in the air, hitting the TV constantly. Eight and a half years. By the way, California gets incredibly foggy in the wintertime, which is uh, November, December, and possibly January, where it is so thick that you can't drive uh, and see anything in front of you more than five feet. It's to that level of extreme on the ocean. And then on the summertime, with the high humidities out there they have, uh, it's not as bad as Florida, but it does get up there pretty well. Especially when you're along the waters, the humidity level is extreme. And so this TV here has survived eight seasons, or should I say, or eight years, right? Eight and a half years um, since they was put out there. And they were thinking it's longer. I don't, I look at my, back, back at my records, I think this was about eight and a half. And... It's still working. Technically, if the screen had a different cover on it, it still works perfectly fine. And so let you also know there's another TV on the same ship on the opposite side where, where it was mounted at. The screen looks perfect. And it's still playing like the day we put it up there. It, it's still amazing to me. So this is the level that the treatment gets on 
uh, on these outdoor TVs that uh, the, we were using with the company called Nanoflow X at the time. And now we are still doing it now. And Nanoflow X is uh, making these incredible TVs called Titan TVs. And, and this is going to be um, uh, one, of the, one of the best TVs for outdoors. Zero fans needed, right? So it gets hot, but it's not affecting the board. All the moisture humidity is hitting it. It's not developing any kind of film on the TV, on the boards. So that prevents anything from sticking. If anything, so to give you an idea on electronic boards, have you ever had like a stereo system in your home or something? And, or, or even the, the DVD box or, or, or VCR or whatever. And if you ever open it up, it looks like it's covered in fur. The reason that's happening is the moisture and all that stuff is attacking the board and creating a level of a goo type of film over it which attracts all the dust particles and builds it upwards and makes it like a like a hairy board it almost it looks like but it's all that dust that creates here you notice there's nothing on there zero this tv is the first time has it been open in eight and a half years inside and and i keep saying that now look at this here, check this out here's the chip here's well there's something here going on no the chip's still under here. And I wish I could break this open to look underneath that. Um, let's check it out. I'm going to damage it, so it's not a big deal. This thing ain't going anywhere else. So I just opened it up. I just cracked it open. And let's check it out. Wow. And as you notice, I have not edited this, this video whatsoever. Have not changed anything. Have not done anything with this video. Uh, I'm trying to get under there and look at it, but I can't. Um, I was trying to pry it open, but I uh, just want you to kind of see the boards even everywhere that was underneath the shield. See, what we do is we don't spray anything on top. Okay? If you notice here, there's a board, and if you spray it on top, guess what? You're not going to get under this board. These boards go through a different different process, and the process basically is to take this board completely apart and something like this hold on a second in one hand sorry about that i had to do with one hand because it's uh, holding the film so this board completely apart and goes through a cleaning process and then a dip process and um one and that gets into everything everything and the nice thing about it is even the dip process goes into all the connections and you don't have to mask these off by the way through the company of uh, uh, nanoflow x you don't have to mask them at all like all their all all the other conformal cuttings you have to mask it off and treat the board but when you remove the masking guess what happens now that's your point of weakness in all electronics when you try to waterproof any kind of board whether it's perylene plasma uh any kind of spray you name it it can't get inside here um, or these pins inside, you have to mask all these things off. Um, let's try to rip this heart off here a second. So, like I say, it ain't the function, they still function. It's crazy how they still work. But all the stuff would have to be masked off, masked off, masked off, masked off, masked off, masked off, 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 mask off everywhere. Would have to be masked off. And, and then when it's done, that's your weakest point of entry, and that's how boards are still failed through form of coating and other, other type of deal. But when you use a, a product like Donoflow X, where it's literally a dip process into a liquid bath, should I call it, and comes out. And the funny thing is it only takes like five seconds, and then it goes into a heat oven, a lab oven, uh, for about 15, 15 minutes, I, I believe it is, and at the right temperature. And um, at that point, yeah, it's... Uh, it gets there it gets it it gets extremely uh cured again here i don't know why maybe again the coating wasn't strong enough at the time here but uh, this connection still works um when you connect inside and because they were playing video here and also through uh a usb um and then i, I think they changed it over to hdmi about a couple years ago using like raspberry pies and stuff like that to give it the image so this is the video board looking great Here's the, the power board. Um, took it like a champ. Uh, it, it's incredible. And here's the, the buffer boards, obviously. And uh, let's check this out here. See, there's no special taping that was used whatsoever. 
Look at that. Still there, like it, like nothing was, like it was treated barely. Look inside there. Again, these components. This could never, could never survive in an outdoor, untreated condition. I don't care if you have fans, um, heating devices, cooling devices. Uh, it, I, I don't. It doesn't matter because what's going to happen if you have a fan. And you have moisture outside the TV. That fan's going to suck in all that moisture. And the moisture is going to rub against all this board and start the corrosion process immediately. Once the corrosion process starts, it can never be stopped. Even if I were to treat it after the corrosion has started, all I would do was lock in the corrosion underneath and it would eat itself in through underneath the protection. So once the corrosion starts, it's pretty much over. It has a time frame before it dies. So we have to treat these boards before the corrosion um, even begins. So that means a brand new TV. And once we get our hands on it, yeah, that's it. It's 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 protected. So I know I, I kind of went through a lot here, but this is an incredible experiment. Um, and this is why we did this was specifically to check um, the condition because we can put on a website saying how many years it can last. But unless you actually show proof of a product that's been out there treated and um, and by the way I personally treated this TV myself and, and that's my handwriting I know it's kind of sloppy but that's my handwriting and this was like I say eight and a half years ago treated and uh, uh, placed up in the USS Iowa ship San Pedro California and get this we still have another TV up there because we put both of them the same day and we're just waiting to what year it's going to take for the second one for the film to either either damage the screen, which looks like it's no time soon, or the electronics to fail due to the condition that's under. And it, 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 the way I saw it when I went down there, it looked like it's going to take several more years. So really fascinating. Um, Nanoflow X, incredible product. Um, you know, this is one of the best products that I, I believe it's in the market because you don't need a special machine. It's, it, it, you don't need any special training it can be done in house it's safe odorless it's it's uh it's really one of the best chemicals that you could use for electronics and there's five four i think four or five different type of treatments of chemicals depending on a uh, real simple device like iphones all the way up to like salt water degree going into the water now this was done not so there's a v1 through v4 i believe might be a v5 but v4 but this was done on v2 okay so one of the lower levels of the solution that has salt spray protection in it but it's still v2 so what could you use this chemical for um we created uh, an outdoor tvs at the time that i owned the company called sealock and i created that as the founder and sold it 2018 and then um the chemical stopped being used at that time and then we uh, just recently revamped a new company, um, to tighten out their TVs, and we're now using the chemical V2 again on the newer TVs, but it's 10 times stronger than it was before. So things that can be utilized, not just for electronics like this, but we do like Sonos products, Bose products, headphones, earbuds, um, hearing aids. Uh, we use uh, uh, different applications for a lot of things, and we have stronger solutions for like drones, which is I can't believe there's not many drones out there that have that don't have a kind of protection that it needs on electronics, whether it rains, falls in water, mud, ocean water. The components can be washed down and be safe. Now that's the funny thing about it, because I can actually hose this down, which there are videos out there showing me hosing it while it's playing. And if I got this into some salt water, or whatever, and I had to get it off. I just simply hold it down real quick and it should be fine now obviously you don't want to drain it or hold it while it's being playing just because of safety reasons but it can handle that because we've shown proof that we wet the electronics while it's being playing and no effects have actually happened the solution is so thin that it's literally under microscopic levels and um and it literally protects from water penetrating the, the electronic board but it allows all the heat to still to just to to escape freely and uh yeah so this is it guys nanoflow x uh a full unveil uh, unveiling um i didn't do the screws or the taping we had outside because it was just kind of like yeah what for but 
here there was no way I, I for sure all the salt water dig uh, salt air and everything got inside this tv no matter what and this is what it looks like um you have any questions just go ahead and uh, reach out below the um on the video there i have some information nano flow x and uh, reach out to me and uh, see what kind of project you have and how many years it'll take your project your product to last as well so this is it thank you for watching if you have any questions reach out to me um we can do free samples for you on your products and then uh work a work a deal out where your product can be uh, treated protected and uh yeah that's it thanks for watching guys have a wonderful day